Hey, how's it going, people out there on the intro web land? Yeah, you know who this is. If you don't know who this is, why the fuck are you watching my video? Anyway, for real, fucking, I just want to shout out to, like, everybody at the East Side Boxing. And, you know, like, fucking everybody out at that box wreck. And everybody out at that boxing scene. Even though I'm banned from the, 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 the box wreck. Actually, I don't know. I don't care. I just like pissing people off. It's what I'm good at. Anyway, I know I'm definitely banned from 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 boxing scene, but I just want to say what up to all my people. You know, like fucking the nigga Rob Dukes. What up? And like anybody out there, like fucking Patty, Zach Man, David UK. Just want to send a shout out to y'all and fucking. Mexican legend, you're still the man, dude. Anyway, I just wanted to spit it out here and bring it out here. You know, like, there's this fight that's supposed to be coming up June something between me and Mighty Messer Mark Schmidt. You know, like, this is how it is. I'm not going to sit here and record a bunch of videos and 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 a bunch of videos. For a dude that like fuck it backs out a lot. He perpetually backs out of fights. So this is how it is. And this is the only time I'm gonna say this in a video. That I'm not gonna make another video until I get a contract from Stacy, Dr. Goodnight Goodson, who lives in the state of Arkansas. In which case when I get that contract already as it is, I'm filing paperwork through the state of what through the state of Arkansas for them to take my physical paperwork and my licensing paperwork and my federal boxing ID paperwork and all the good shit and fucking this is it this is how it is when I get a contract and I'm gonna put all my contact info in the description of this video as well as the video itself I can be reached at area code 253 301 2512 yeah, I already know a whole bunch of fucking p pussy ass cowards are gonna fucking sit here and call anonymously and use their little fucking their little fucking voice amplifier or voice modifier. Or they're gonna disguise their voices eh, and fucking all that other shit. But I don't give a shit. This is how it is. That is my telephone number. Or you can email me at d a v i d. C L A U D I O S R at hotmail dot com or you can write me at three one one South, just the capital letter S nine Street, apartment four zero zero in Tacoma, Washington, nine eight four zero two. And this is how it is. I want a boxing contract to fight Mark Schmidt, Mighty Messer, the Motor City Pole Smoker. And I'm not going to come out here making a whole bunch of comedy videos. My name's not Jeff Dunham. I'm not a fucking comedian. I'm 32 fucking years old. I'm not going to come out here cracking jokes. This is how it is. I want a contract. And I want a contract stating how much I'm going to get paid. I want a contract stating how, who I am fighting. Because I'm not going to do this whole, if this guy doesn't show up, then I might fight somebody else. No, I'm getting myself prepared for Mark Schmidt. Nobody else. I'm not taking any excuses. Nobody else. If I don't fight Mark Schmidt, the fight doesn't happen, I get paid. Plain and simple. Because if I'm going to go out on a limb to file all this paperwork for a state that's you know like several thousand miles away, this is how it's going to be. I want to fight Mark Schmidt. Only Mark Schmidt. Nobody else but Mark Schmidt. Yeah, I understand. You're going to lose some money if Mark Schmidt does not show up. But that is my outlook on it. If it is not a Mark Schmidt fight, it is not a fight. That is the guy that I came out onto the radio and said, wants a fight with me. This is how much we're willing to get paid. So this is the way I look at it. And this is probably, you know, like how the WBC and the WBA and the IBF would look at it if you got a contract and one of the fighters no-shows you know flat out 
the fighter that shows gets paid and is given a win via forfeit. A forfeit win may not be, you know, like a, a win, a, an admirable win, but a win's a win. If I don't fight Mark Schmidt, I get a win, I get paid, and this is the only time I'm going to come out here and say this shit. I want a contract, I'm not putting out any more videos. Um, I'd love to come out onto some radio show today, but however, I'm getting ready to take off to Seattle, Washington, WWE, no way out. I know a couple of the guys in the back locker room area. I've trained with some of them. It's a privilege that I've been invited to WWE No Way Out, and I'm gonna be there. I'm not gonna be at some some radio show unless it's you know like conveniently you know like at an hour that I can come home from the pay per view and get on the phone. And I'm not even gonna rush to do it because you know like I'm not gonna sit here wasting energy on a fight that Mark Schmidt has a perpetual history of backing out of. And people don't seem to understand that. I don't see why. It's plain, simple English. It's plain, simple lo logic. It's not stupidity. The guy backs out of fights. Oh, and I guess I also got to throw in some, you know, like Charlie Z guy, you know, whatever. Um, Charlie, 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 Charlie. Dude, do yourself a favor. Stay home. And if you don't stay home, don't bring your dad. Because, swear to God, dude, your dad's either A, going to rape you when you get your ass beat, as usual, you know, we know about that, or he's just going to drink himself stupid and blow his fucking head off when you disappoint him firsthand, five feet away from him. He's just gonna <laughs> dude, what's not to understand? But anyway, um, I mean, like, seriously. You got your ass beat by Andrew Hartley. And that guy has lost more fights than your opponent, Hillbilly Pimp, has fallen off the AA wagon. I mean, not to sound fucked up or nothing, but that's just legitimately how it is, dude. And you can't even beat this guy. What makes you think you could beat the Hillbilly Pimp? Whatever. But I'm going to be there for that one. I'm going to check it out. And, you know, like, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else to say. So, you know, you heard it here first. I want a contract or I'm not going to talk about it. I want a contract and I want it signed. It's that simple.